Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one room till at a time. It is Tuesday, nine o'clock. That means we bring back Omar, my real estate entrepreneur. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. How are you? What's up, Michael? What's up, everybody? Hey, so uh, I was reading a quote from Jerome Powell this morning, and the first person I thought of was you. Part of that's because I knew I was talking to you today, but it really was everything we've talked about the last year. And um, yeah, you ready for it? Yeah, let's go. So Jerome Powell came out uh, and told everyone that the, uh, the last two years have been easy. It's been easy to make money the last two years. The Fed put, don't bet against the Fed. The Fed saved the market. The Fed did this. The Fed did that. And he said, um, the next two years, not so much. And I, I'm considering this as a real estate investor, somebody who's been doing it 20 years, somebody who's invested through multiple cycles. I'm excited by what's coming, but there are so many people that got that got cocky and made money the last two years that are not doing the work. They just they don't realize that the market bailed them out. For sure. And, and uh, OK, so the next two years, Omar, are going to be harder than the last two years. First, do you agree? And second, what do you think about that? Well, it's going to be harder for the ones that uh, uh, took advantage of the market. And that thought that they had skills because the market gave it to them. Um, secondly, it's going to be an easy time for somebody that has some type of knowledge about the market mm -hmm. the next two years. Because when markets change and the market gets a little tougher, it's going gonna, it's gonna to literally slice off all the fat and it's going to stay super lean. And the only people that really can, can, um, can uh, pretty much take care of the market or not even say take care of the market, but see opportunities that others can't because of their skill. Mm -hmm. Somebody like you and me mm. or you and I, um, we're going to have a good field day. Uh, and I can't wait because competition is going to go out the window the yeah. next two years because people didn't buy. This is the thing. People did not buy to hold real estate. They bought to flip and to flip and to flip and to flip and to wholesale but they have no write-offs. So then if you're not gonna be able to have that stream of income coming in anymore from the market being so good that you buy something and then by the time you get the signature on the paper, it's worth another $20,000. It's not the case anymore. It might even go down since so from the time that you get that signature. And I've been thinking about this a lot, the next two years as to setting myself up. Mm -hmm. I know you have too. Oh yeah. You know stashing your money, stashing your money, because we're going to be able to see all kinds of crazy opportunities and, and, and check this out being in a real estate industry, you know, being a broker and, and going on listing appointments, every listing appointment next, the next two years, I bet you anything. I, I buy another 10 properties the next six to 10 months easily that I put in my portfolio. And then the following year, Forget about it. It's going to get even worse, I think. Well, not worse, but worse, but better. <laughs> worse, but better. Yeah, and that that's my take on it, because yeah. this is the time that you're able to providing you understand your knowledge of your market, your buy box is structured yeah. and you have everything in place. Yeah. When I when I read that by or not by Powell statement, um, I really thought about it. just all assets have rocketed all up assets. the last year. Crypto yeah. stocks. It really, it almost didn't matter. And again, yeah. as somebody who suffered a drastic loss in the last cycle like this, I know there's people out there that are cocky right now. And I got to tell you, being cocky in, when the market turns, it's kind of painful. <laughs> it kind of hurts, right? You stop doing the work. You stop having your discipline. Um, folks, the market made you. A lot of you who are investing in stocks right now, you have to admit you were guessing and got lucky. You're not doing the work. You're not reading the, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement. You're not looking at all these things. Look at what it's just, I've been here before. I know how to do it. I did it and worked. And then I got lazy and I stopped and I started, I went from investor to speculator to gambler and it worked and it didn't. I think that's happening in real estate. How many, dude, how many wholesalers and flippers will not exist in two years if the market is flat? let alone if the market goes down a little. If the market is flat, half of you all are going out of business. Your carrying costs sucks. Your designs suck. There's, 
it just doesn't work. The only reason you've been able to make any money last two years is because there's been no flipping inventory. Mm-hmm. And the Fed, right. Powell bailed your ass out. He took a, people don't realize that the, yes, the price of housing today is higher than 06. True. The payments are lower and people are making more money. It's more affordable, whether you like it or not, Mr. Mrs. Crash videos. It is <laughs> just nuts that is more affordable today. Do the math than it's been in nearly 50 years. So yeah, I, 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 I have a scar in my back from being stupid. And that's a financial scar. It's not a real scar. But I, I'm afraid that um, there's going to be a lot of people hurt. But again, it's actually good news for me. Because what happens when the market turns? Banks get tight. Banks uh-huh. close equity lines. Bank yep. close reserves. Banks have higher credit standards. And guys like us who are playing four-dimensional chess and moving cash around, we're going to be able to go. And then, oh, by the way, because we have the skills to talk subject to, we have seller financing. We have all these other vehicles where we can acquire maybe with a little bit or to no cash. Dude, I bought apartment buildings last time, zero down. I look forward to doing that again in a year or two or three, whenever they come. I'm excited. Oh, it, it, it's, it, it is exciting. It's, I don't, I don't want to say I want to hurry up and see it, mm. but right now, you know, as it, as it, I mean, it, it, if it does end up falling or slowing down, um, it's going to slow down gradual oh, because yeah. of the inventory and stuff, but it is still, we, we now people, cause check this out. Everybody made the most money mm-hmm. this year. Okay? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm, it was easy my, to make money included, yeah. you know, yeah. myself included, right? Mm-hmm. Um, knowing what I know now, if I would have known that in January, um, yeah, I, I would have, you know, added 20 properties to my portfolio. Yeah. The and, crazy, the crazy thing is if you were to ask me what I should do different the last 18 months, well, I think I successfully flipped 35 properties in the last two years. I should have held on to all of them, all of them. Mike, I'm telling you, dude, damn it. I am telling you seeing that, see, seeing the ledger, seeing all the property. And it's like, dude, well, I could have kept a good 15 of them this year. Yeah. And I still kept a bunch, but it's, uh, I'm, I'm t- like knowing, knowing that this market's going to be going a little bit softer, mm-hmm. knowing that the money's still so cheap to go and uh, refinance and borrow against the, 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 uh, the asset, Yeah, man, you, 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 it's a perfect storm. Yeah. It is a perfect storm to rip out all your money, get ready, sit on the sidelines, and just wait. Oh, yeah. it's going to be cool. Yeah. So again, folks, I consider it good news, bad news. Uh, it's bad news if, if if you're somebody out there that was Mike Zuber at 30 and you got cocky and lazy, you're about to get smacked. If you're a one rental at a time fan, somebody following Omar, you're doing the work, you know your deals, you're getting the debt capital correct. You're not setting yourself up to have variable rate debt. Uh, it could be a very exciting time. So again, Omar, I'm excited by what is coming. Uh, I do think Jerome Powell is right. The next two years are going to be much harder than the last two years. It, it is. I can't wait to see what happens. It's and we'll be, be talking about it. Every week, 52 weeks. Every week. So Omar, how can people follow you, get part of your world? Guys, just follow me on IG at Omar underscore Alfaro or visit OmarAlfaro.com. Very cool, man. Thanks again. Hi, you're welcome.